And now what was supposed to be a relaxing tropical vacation down in Mexico, but one North suburban couple is telling our I team it ended in a jailhouse for them on a dirt floor in their swimsuits. Consumer investigator Jason Knowles sat down with a husband and wife who say they were unfairly arrested and assaulted by police. Jason. That's right. That couple says they believe they were targeted for wearing expensive jewelry and that Mexican police still have some of their belongings. They say they were roughed up by police and held in a jailhouse floor for almost eight hours, all of it without being charged with a crime. It was hell. I never want to go to Mexico again. Jeff and Adina Newworth are recovering from injuries in their Wakanda home. Bruises, one from when Jeff says he got punched in the face by someone at his resort in Mexico. Then there are more bruises on his side. He says from Playa de Carmen police kneeing him. They tried to take my ring and I told them no and I was closing my hand, you know, behind my back so they couldn't pull it off. And that's when one of them handed a taser and then they tased me. So you were cuffed and thrown in a pickup truck? Yes, head first into the back of a pickup truck. The handcuffs were so tight that it caused blisters. It was cutting off the circulation. I watched Adina get thrown in first. I was in, in a, in a string bikini, yeah. In jail. In jail. They say that vacation nightmare began when they were at their pool at their resort. I noticed this guy staring at me. It was unsettling. They believe they were targeted by three men because Adina was wearing her $85,000 diamond ring. They said something verbal then, and then I said something back to them, and then I got punched in the face. They say police arrived, arrested, and handcuffed the couple, and then escorted them to their hotel room, where they say police forced them to open their safe and turn over cash, expensive watches, and other high-end beauty products. Then they were hauled off to jail. It is beyond horrible. The couple provided the I-team receipts of some of the items they say police never returned and submitted them with these affidavits to the U.S. consulate in Mexico. The couple says they were never charged with the crime. A U.S. Department of State official told the I-team, we are aware of this case and are providing all appropriate consular services. We walked out of the police station at like 1.20 in the morning and left on a street. The Newworths also say they were unfairly kicked out of their hotel, so they booked a flight to go home. The hotel's parent company, Malia Hotels International, said since there is an investigation currently taking place, we cannot make any statements. They booked the vacation through Apple Vacations, who told the I-team it was in contact with the hotel to determine if a refund is appropriate adding its representative alerted the U.S. consulate on behalf of the couple and went to the police station with them, staying until the evening, something the Newworths dispute. We didn't even know if anybody would know or find out that we were in jail. Apple Vacations also said that there is a record of the Newworths' aggressive actions and harassment to resort management and that we are told that the police then made the decision to arrest the Newworths based on their physical resistance to being taken into custody. Apple would not supply the I-team with any official reports. A global security consultant, Tim Bradley, says tourists can avoid being a target on vacation. Leave all your expensive jewelry at home. Leave things that are irreplaceable at home. That includes wedding rings. Avoid confrontations or altercations that could get you arrested by the police in the first place. It, it simply isn't worth it. A spokesperson from the federal agency in Mexico responsible for supervising public safety did not comment, but gave me this contact for the police in Playa de Carmen. No one returned our calls. How did those police in Mexico treat you? Like we did something awful and we didn't do anything at all. Travel security experts add that if you are involved in any dispute or possible arrest in a foreign country, the best thing you can do is remain calm and be reasonable. Demands will never help a heated situation. And of course, remember to leave all of those valuables in a safe at home. Don't bring them on vacation. There is no reason to bring them on your trip or in the pool. Don't take them.